okay in this tutorial we will learn how to make uh, a very simple uh, calculator within the matlab platform so for it uh, you must have to write guid that is uh, graphical user interface development environment and press enter and it will lead us to the create new gui press ok and here you can see the gui okay now uh, in order to make a calculator we must have a simple panel okay it uh, can act like as the outer casing of the calculator uh, you can change its color uh like this one okay press enter okay then okay also for for the screen of this calculator uh, we can go towards the uh, edit text and it will be like this Okay, double, double click on edit text and here remove this edit uh, string and okay now we will give some color okay now we have casing and the uh, screen of the calculator so then we have to play some sort of push buttons here like uh, and uh, three buttons for okay so you can place all these three button here yeah like uh, this one okay then you can select and control c and control v all these buttons and it will give us some some more buttons okay then again control v press control v again some more buttons and make it like this okay also uh, one more button uh, which is actually zero and it must be there uh, also drag all the buttons to some bit uh, below like this uh, also squeeze the body of calculator and also the body of the panel okay now uh, this is push button one so double click on it and uh, Give it the title of one. Okay. You can also change its properties by its changing its font. Like as you can give it to twenty. Okay. Here you can write two. Two. And you can also change its phone to 20. Here you can write, uh, you can write 3 and select font as 20. Here, here, 3. So here, also select uh, font as 20 and uh, write uh, the name of this push, push button is the 4 integer 4 do it for all for 5 and select uh, this is 20 
one, two, three, four, five, ten, four, six. Do this. Okay, the phone size. We forgot the phone size now. Let's now do it like twenty. Now seven eight nine. Yeah, twenty. And here it is seven or eight do the same and here twenty and here nine uh, not not font size must be twenty well the button name must be nine oh no not here you must have to delete this push button and then oh, and here for the the last one is the zero and want is 20 it is a repetitive task so here yeah 20 so first we will do some sort of addition problem okay double click on this push button give it red color or some brown type and here you can write as uh, 12 for font size for string it must be uh, plus but no font size must be like 30 i think 30 is best okay now now this is plus and one more button like it like a copy and paste a copy and paste in here double click on this button and here press is equal to okay now we have completed the uh, a sim of we have completed the casing and designing of a very simple calculator uh, one thing you, you can add some sort of text as well okay static text for you okay so here you can write a simple calculator is a simple calculator okay now uh, you must have to now this is uh, our uh, the main you can say that the main designing work now we have to go towards the programming and its uh, mathematical functionality so right click on this button one here you can see callback callback is a function which uh, executes when the button is pressed so go to this callback uh, first but first of all you must have to save this document and it is like you're saving just on desktop now now when you will press you can you can see that the control will lead will lead us to the will lead us to this uh, push button uh, that is push button one call back so here we are supposed to write as global as zero and what this will do actually this uh, will create a variable uh, which can be called in any function like here you can see that this function push function push button one callback and function push button two callback so for s underscore zero although both these functions are totally unknown to each other but uh, if if global that is s underscore one s underscore zero variable is 
uh, declared as global so you can use it in it at any function so uh, we have uh, written here the global s underscore zero so uh, then we will assign s is equal to uh, 10 uh, sorry s is equal to 1 s underscore 0 is equal to 1 so okay then we will go towards the push button 2 so here uh, we can declare uh, as global s underscore one and then i have to declare one more global variable that is s underscore one and s underscore one is equal to is equal to two okay now when when i will press push button one uh it is it it, it is uh written as uh it will store the integer one in s underscore zero and if i will uh, press the second push button that is for two s underscore one will get the uh, two okay so then then we have to go towards the uh, multiply button okay Okay, first we will check that either it is in two or not so yeah it is in two okay you can you can go to the plus uh, button and go to the callback and here you will see that uh, we must have declared a global variable with the name plus okay so then we will go towards the uh, is equal to sign that is callback okay now uh, we will actually also uh, write all the global variable uh, here for to uh, to use in this uh, function so global s underscore one Okay, and uh, also uh, we can use global plus global plus uh, okay and we can write here as plus is equal to uh, Eight is a string. We can use it at this string. So here now we are in actually we are in the is equal to button or uh, button of equality uh, button of equality is called big so when you will press the button of equality actually control will come towards this towards this push button okay then what to do next okay uh, when actually uh, we will press this one so we have to do one more thing that is uh, we can write any variable that is adder that is any any random thing okay so uh, our, our, our we will do one more thing that uh, if 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 plus if plus is equal to is equal to age then and okay that if if button uh, pressed is eight then what what we are supposed to do mm, then we will declare a new variable that is answer and multiply as underscore zero sorry as underscore zero and as underscore one so yes 
and uh, also because we are also supposed to put this on the screen and screen there is actually nothing but the uh, edit box so we, we can also double click on the screen to see that either it is edit one or yeah it is edit one okay so okay okay we, we can run it okay for our simplicity like one and two and plus and we, we, we can see in the command window either any uh yeah it's, it's working fine it's, it's not going to give an error okay so answer uh, is actually so we are supposed to show this answer to the uh, lcd so for it we can we can write a set set okay but but first we are supposed to convert it this answer into the string format or character format because answer is actually in the integer format so and here also because it is addition so you are supposed to uh, put plus sign here and uh, also convert like a uh, fine final is equal to num to str of answer and uh, this will num to string uh, function will actually convert number to uh, string that is character uh, array or array and then to that is number two string so we can uh, set handles set handles dot edit handles dot edit one comma string comma string comma final so then then we are we are going to run it and first we will press one then we will press plus then we will press two and then we will press is equal to and we got the answer as three but here you can see that it is it is small so so what to do for it uh, you can uh, double click on it uh, change it to the uh, like uh, 20 okay and uh, okay here yeah. now uh, run it and press yes and here is 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 so actually this is for just two buttons but you can also repeat this process for plus multiply divide or whatever you want okay so this is very basic uh, calculator and a basic info so hope uh, you understand all this so you can make it now at your own so thanks for watching